Talking to you, and today I'm going to show you um, a piece of uh, my submissions for the Appreciation of Serenity event. So I decorated um, Emerald Peak for this event, and um, I was a little bit unclear on the rules. It says um, it's um, can't use for commercial use, and I couldn't quite figure out if that meant I could post it on my channel or not, since my channel is uh, monetized. <laughs> um, I did email uh, customer service about it, since the rules did say email if you have any questions, to which customer service replied, um, they have too many emails and they can't reply to me. <laughs> so that was like two weeks ago, and now the deadline is tomorrow, or after tomorrow. Um, something like that. Anyways, okay, uh, you don't care about this. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna link that video below. It's going to be unlisted, and I'm also going to be linking my, uh, what do you call it? Um, I'm also gonna be linking my Hoyo Lab posts where I'm posting my videos. So, please, 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 if you have the time, I would really appreciate it if you had, like, a couple seconds to go um, like my posts and <laughs> it would be really cool <laughs> to maybe um, have a chance in the competition. So thank you in advance if you decide to vote for me. I'm going to have two submissions. There's going to be two links, a video submission and a photo submission. So yeah, that's that. All right, let's get on with the tour. So I have the Mondstadt style house. Honestly, I just really love the outside of this house. I think it's so pretty. And oh, look at the waterfall in the distance. It's gorgeous. Um, yeah, and then here I put some little, uh, it's like a little garden, a flower, a courtyard. And I love these little benches. I actually did it so that you can sit on every side of each bench. I don't know why I love this so much, but I just I just really like it. And then I do have uh, my crafting bench here because honestly, I've been using this crafting bench now instead of going um, <laughs> to Liwe or Mondstadt. So here we are. This is my two areas. Look over there, there's even an area in the distance. Do you see it? Um, oh, hello boar. He's floating in midair. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you see that city in the distance over there? Yes, that is completely staged and only made to look pretty from over here. <laughs> And the walls don't even end, but it looks nice when you look at it from here. So that's that. Um, yeah, this is a, a hot springs, a villa, vacation spot. So over here, we can hop on over to our pathway on top. Look at this. I love it. I put little greenery in front and some glowing rocks. I put glowing rocks everywhere. I quite like it. And if you look, we can see everything in the distance. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. Oh! Okay. And then, whoops, I went the wrong way. <laughs> if we keep going over here, we can see, I put, I even put a little barrier here so we don't fall off. <laughs> but then I made uh, the opposite of a barrier here and I made a chair that you sit on here. Look, you can see Barbara's feet just dangling. <laughs> I think it's cute. Um, yeah, so that, <laughs> look at the boar. He's still, what is he doing? Okay, anyways, if we continue on here, we have our next layer. This is where we have our springs. Isn't it so cute? And uh, yeah, I used uh, the blocks uh and the block uh, <laughs> mechanics to put the springs so all of the springs do like edge into the rocks which i think is fun and then we have our bench here and like as you can see the greenery is next to the springs um because the greenery was set on this is actually two blocks so if we look into my setup here this is one block and then this is another block so this block was pushed into this one you see you see so a lot of finagling went into making this <laughs> um, discard changes. Oops! Oh my! 
What happened? Oh, uh, this is not normal. <laughs> what happened? We're underneath it. We're inside a block. This is kind of cool though. Okay, this is not what we want. This is why I'm filming two separate videos. If you watch the actual submission video, I tried to be very um, composed. <laughs> so if you want to see that, you can go watch it too. <laughs> okay, here we popped on up. So this is one of our areas. So look at this. Ah! I put a little house. I nestled it into the mountain. It's really cute at night too. I mean, the sun's about to set. Maybe we can come back and see it. But we have our little fruit here. And I tried to put... This is the main area, obviously. I put all the greenery on this uh, portion. And look at this. Isn't it cute? Oh... Okay, and then if we keep walking over here, we have another spring and another house. I feel like these are little bath houses. They're so cute when they light up. Um, and then up here, we do have another spring in the mountain. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a tiny piece of the, the little ball in the middle showing. <laughs> I kept moving my blocks around earlier. Um, I guess I didn't put it back right. Yeah, this ball. <laughs> that was what it was. <laughs> but yeah, and then over here we have our little grapevines. And I like I liked the asymmetry of it. So I put uh, two in a row on this side and three on this side. I think it, it makes the space. And then in the middle we have a little pavilion with um, a food cart, another table. I did put the bamboo table here um, because it matched the top of the... The food cart. Oh, the, the lights are gonna turn on soon. Is it gonna? Are we gonna see it turn on? Yes. No. Maybe. And I really like putting the grapevines behind the chairs. I don't know why. Maybe I'll grow out of it. But for now, all the grapevines in front of the chairs. And then we have this last area here that I hadn't shown you. This is a little play area right before the springs. So this is a one spring here. And we have some palm trees! I started buying plants from the shop. They do make the space really nice. And then I think we saw in this area, yes. Here's our two hot springs. There we go. And I think the lights should be on by now. Yes! Look at that! Isn't it darling? Ah! Oh, and the little lamp on the little shed. I just love it so much. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> I just... Oh nestled in the mountain okay okay huh? and on to the next area let's go over here okay i had so much trouble i i'm like i'm happy with what i did but i wish i had twice the load because it would look completely different i feel like i was only able to put the bones down for my design so here we have a little sign this way i like to think of this as a farming village because it's empty. <laughs> I have all the houses and everything where I want them, but there's just so much empty space. So when we get the farming update, hopefully it'll be cute and I can put like um, my plants and such in the empty spaces and it'll fill everything up. But for now, like everything is at load limit and it's just, oh my God, is it not at load limit? I could have fit like, what? I was, <laughs> moving <th> okay <laughs> I can fit one <laughs> I lied oh no it's almost at load limit uh, I guess I could have put uh, another decoration I didn't realize maybe I f oh I think I took off a rock earlier I'm not sure but yeah so I did however give every single house a crystal and a mailbox <laughs> But it would have been fun to put down characters and like trees, greenery, bushes, more tables. Uh, I would also, I'm really excited. I hope they add pavements. Can you imagine if we could put cute pavements or stepping stones? Um, maybe a well and oh, so many things we could do. I would probably do an enclosure and put a bunch of boars inside also, but load limit the load limit i feel is just it's not enough i think it's ten thousand for outdoor areas 
not enough but I still think it's cute like I love my general layout it's just missing the decorations it's missing the decorations and then we have another little house over here yeah so if we look at the design this is what it looks like yeah I think it's a good use of the space I like how um because I know a lot of people's designs when they show them uh, on YouTube, I love watching <laughs> Serenity Teapot design videos, but they always do like the tiniest sections, right? Like they just do like one tiny section and it looks gorgeous, but what about the rest? <laughs> so I have the opposite problem. I fill in the space and then I can't decorate. <laughs> but yeah, so every house has its own like area and space. So like this one faces this way and then this one faces this way this one yeah and then this over here ah oh, i love it so much i spent most of my time designing this just to nestle these in the mountains and putting in these pieces basically when you you can place them on blocks like this um where can i set this down whoop, 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 whoop. can i set it down anywhere Okay, well basically you see this piece, um, I can't set it on top of things, but I can nestle it inside over here. Um, can I? Can I not? Oh wait, no, this one I can't because it infringes on that piece inside. So <laughs> you always want to put like the biggest block first, so the ones on top first, and then you add in. So the thing that I was blocking is that this, uh, this piece here, whoop, not that piece, this here, um, that house there, I can't, uh, set the block into the house. I need to put, here, I'll show you, wait, let me take this off and this off here. Um, yeah, so if I have this piece here, this is taller than this piece so then this piece i can set it in here and there's no items on this block so it lets me adjust it here and then this piece you can see um the items are lower than the items on this block so then i can go and set this one inside of the mountain afterwards so it's a lot of messing around trying to get the right angle and you have to put them in in a specific order and then I can take this piece and set it inside. But if I tried to do the opposite, like earlier, I tried to move this block and this was blocking me. <laughs> a lot of messing around. I wasn't a, uh, I see some people's designs and they're so gorgeous. I'm still, I'm still learning, but yeah, this is what I have. And okay, let's discard in case, in case I set it back wrong. And all right, uh, let's see the last area. Yeah other area is also a case of um sadly just there's not enough load i feel like there's not enough load okay so i did my town layout that i love but then i don't have enough load to add decorations or more characters so um let's start off here so these two pieces of land are the same area so this and this over here and i know <laughs> I basically spent, uh, the load limit is 10k, and just this area here with all of these plants, it's already like 4.5k. <laughs> Why are plants so heavy? Oh, and of course I have like the character and the boar. Oh, it's so sad, but yeah, so then this area, and then over here I have my city. Let's walk through it first, then I'll show you the overview. Okay, um... I like this in the daytime because I wasn't able to put lamps. That's the true reason that I like it in the daytime. <laughs> There's no lamps anywhere. Okay. Here we are. We start off. Uh, we can cross the bridge. I like how close it is in um, the Emerald Peak realm. Oh, look at this. Wait, we just have to look. It's so pretty. Look at this. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. So we have a tree here <laughs> and some balls for playing. 
and I put a bunch of windmills. I think they're so pretty. I love the windmills. Logistically speaking, like if you were putting real windmills, this is probably a horrible design. They're all at different angles. Some are on mountains for no reason. <laughs> but here's our first alleyway. And yeah, I put a couple fruit carts, really as many as I was able to. And I like here, I put like the stairway and I put this right next to it. I did, I did what I could, and actually, okay, yeah. <laughs> and then over here, at first, have you guys seen when people put all of the, um, they make, let me try and show you. <laughs> Here's my fake area, just so that it looks nice from over there. Okay, let me show you very quick. They make these, uh, I've seen people do this, and I really wanted to do this, and then like I didn't even have enough load to put plants. But they make walkways with this table, and it looks so nice. It looks so cool. So basically they do this, and then oftentimes they put plants around it. <laughs> Just me admitting that I, I mean, everyone does this, right? We all look at each other's designs and we take inspiration. Um, maybe I should... Do I not? Where is the, where's the hedge? Do I have no hedges? Oh, I think I have exactly the right amount. Wait, let me steal this. <laughs> and they put like this on the outside. Do you follow? So then it just looks like a walkway and you, they make like a big square around anything. Ah, and I really wanted to use this design element and put it in my Desire, but there's no space. <laughs> so sad. Okay, but this is what I came up with. I guess, oops. Oh no. Did I just use the burst? <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like it anymore. Maybe it's just because I've been looking at it for too long. But it feels so empty. I wish I could put more things. So I put a little fountain. And we have some little seats over here. And yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, maybe I should have put less windmills, less houses, but then it would have made a tiny, tiny space. I don't know. This is, <laughs> this is just like 10 minutes of dainty complaining about low limit. But yeah, I also put the forge on that little block there. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought that was cute. But yeah. And then over here, I put a little fountain. This is like my one decoration element in this part of the realm. Here we go. And I even put a bucket. Oh, this one has soil in it. Wait, maybe I should have put a bucket with no soil in it. I've been having fun. I've been having fun, but also getting a little bit frustrated at how little um, load <laughs> we, we have to work with. Uh, is it this one? Dirty wooden barrel. Okay, yeah, this one. Yes, okay. This one's ready to take in some water from the fountain. Not the fountain, um, the well. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope, I hope maybe this gave you some ideas. This is what I've done with this area. Whoa! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching um i hope you have a beautiful day and uh if you have some time please 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 go check out my uh competition submission and maybe uh if you don't at least go like my post on hoya lab it would really mean the world to me i would love 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 to see i mean the, the <laughs> uh, if i do win i promise i'll make a video showing you guys all of the and there's like resin, not resin, what's it called? There's like character stands, like acrylic stands. I will, I'll show them to you guys. But also, so many people have entered the competition. I don't know, and there's so many beautiful designs. <sighs> we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>